I'm Nisha Bist. I'm from Almoda, Uttarakhand. And I'm a final year student of computer science and engineering at Lovely Professional University. Recently, I have got placed at BP, British Petroleum, as Enterprise Tech Engineer, which is basically Cloud and Network Engineer, with a package of 22 LPA. Hi everyone, I am Kratika from Programming Part Shala and today we have a very special guest with us, which is Nisha Bhij. She is a, currently a fourth year student at Lovely Professional University, Punjab and has recently cleared a 22 lakh per annum package at British Petroleum and she works there now as a cloud and network engineer. Now I cannot wait you guys to tell about her journey. So yeah, let's dive into that. Okay. So hi Nisha, how are you? I'm good ma'am, how are you? Yeah, I'm good as well. I believe we can just start by you giving a brief introduction, short introduction about yourself. Yeah, sure. So, hello guys. I'm Nisha Bist. I'm from Almoda, Uttarakhand. And I'm a final year student of computer science and engineering at Lovely Professional University. Recently, I have got placed at BP, British Petroleum, as Enterprise Tech Engineer, which is basically Cloud and Network Engineer, with a package of 22 LPA. Well, that's great. That's great, Nisha. So, yeah, Nisha, can you just uh, tell, like, how did you get into your coding journey? Like, in a sense, when did you started to actually prepare this? When did you start, you know, giving your hard work, your hard time over here? Can you tell about that? Yeah, sure. So, uh, basically, my coding journey started back in 2018 when I was in my 11th standard. And, you know, there was an additional subject called computer science with C++. At that time, I didn't like it that much because it was completely different and completely new from the other subjects that were taught, like from physics and maths. But gradually, with the time, I started gaining interest in C++. And till the end of my 12th standard, uh, I had developed a keen interest in C++ and the computer science. So I became confident that, yes, I can make my career in this field. So soon after my 12th, I took admission in LPU. Uh, with BTEC in computer science, but because of the COVID, the first and the second year of my college were online. Uh, since I stopped practicing questions on a daily basis, so my coding journey took a stop there. But when I came back to university in the third year, I resumed it and started coding again. But in, in between the first and the third year, I explored a lot of other subjects as a part of my curriculum. Like there were subjects uh, such as networking, cloud computing, operating system, and some other subjects as well. I was interested in coding, but uh, you know, I developed a lot more interest in these other subjects. And that is the reason also why I chose cloud computing as my career. So, you know, one part you mentioned like like that you, uh, you know, you were like, were on a break kind of a thing for your uh, years when you were, uh, when you was in your home. And then you came back to a university when you started your coding journey again, resuming it again. So I believe there are so many students who uh, actually fall into this phase that they, you know, start their journey. They do very well in the beginning and then they have a drop and then it's very difficult for them to, you know, begin it again. Right. So how did you do that? Like, how did you, you know, began your journey again with it? Yes. So because there was a long pause in my coding journey. So when I came back to university, I started again from scratch. I learned the CS fundamentals first. Then I jumped into, into the advanced concepts like the DSA concept. So, yeah starting with the basics again so yeah so you basically started from the starting right you started from the basics again yeah i believe that that is something which definitely everyone needs to do. at least they, we need to brush up the concept actually right before we yes. you know, give it a kick start again right definitely yes so uh Nisha, yeah so uh can you tell us about your interview experience that and how did it go what were the rounds of your interview over here at british petroleum and what are all the things? Uh, yes, sure. So the very first round, like any other company, was the CV shortlisting round. So I think that uh, there was a thing that gave me an edge here over others that I went 
uh, very carefully through the JD, the job description, and I understood that what kind of candidate the company is looking for. And according to the job description, I mentioned some key points in my CV. So the CV got shortlisted. The next round was an online test. And as I mentioned, my profile was uh, cloud computing. So it was not a coding assessment. Uh, but yes, there were a lot of MCQs uh, related to aptitude. There were C, C++, Java, and a lot of OOPs and cloud computing questions. You know, when I came out of the examination hall, I was very happy and confident that, yes, I can make it to the next round. So I came back to my room. And as I was very much confident, I started preparing for the interview that was on the next day. But after some time uh, in the groups, like the WhatsApp and the Telegram groups, I saw that people were discussing about the online assessment. And they were saying that there were only MCQs, only the person who has done all the questions correctly, only that person can make it to the next town and all these stuffs. So the it was the point where I started doubting myself that, yes, they are correct. I may not be able to make it to the next round because there is a lot of competition, you know. So I stopped preparing. Yeah, I actually stopped preparing. But the next day, when I got the selection mail for the next round, I was literally shocked because I didn't believe myself at that point of time. But yes, I gave the technical interview and cleared it. And in the technical interview, there were questions related to that, again, aptitude. There were coding questions, uh, JavaScript, and oops, cloud computing again. And uh, here, I would seriously like to thank Programming Parshala's re Renaissance course, because you know there is a module called low-level design. Yes, yes, and yes. oops concepts have been taught over there. And because of those videos only, I was able to explain the answers very properly in the interview. So yeah, coming back to the interview process, the last round was a managerial round. The, and I gave it. And the next day, I got to know that I had been selected for the profile of cloud and network engineer. And yeah. the happiness was on another level. That's so inspiring. That's so good. And you know, you mentioned, uh, I believe you mentioned such a good point over here that even I feel that, you know, these days there are so many groups, even you know, when there is any job posting, like, man, lo, koi bhi company hai, uh, jisne apna koi post nikala, koi role nikala hai, and, you know, people start posting it over on Telegram, on various groups, on WhatsApp, and then what happens is that people fill it out, and then, uh, you know, there are so many people who give their reviews and tell about these things, ki ha, tumne agar itta percentage clear kar liya, tab hi ho paega, kya tumhe dono code solve ho gaye the, kya eh, sab kuch ho gaya tha, tab hi ho paega, clear nahi to nahi ho paega, and actually, uh, you know, like i don't understand who are these people like how can they tell us something right it's like basically if it's coming from the company itself yes. okay i can believe it but if it's not i do not think that anyone should believe it right and this thing i believe that the you know everyone should uh, you know get a lesson from this thing that do not every time adhere to the things which all people say and honestly try to you know focus on yourself specifically right and unless it's coming from one actual yes, source yes, right? absolutely Definitely, definitely. So yeah, Nisha, so uh, I, I would like to know that how did you, you know, come to know about programming Bhatshala and how did it help you in your interview and in your, all the process you like to Yeah, so in the recent summer, uh, yeah. we had two months extra classes, like at the time when there were summer vacations for the other students. So we had given few choices by the university for the subjects that we were going to study. So there were few self-paced courses, like from uh, the one from Programming Parchala, and there were some other as well from other platforms. So there is a friend of mine, I and she explored all the courses together because we were confused. And we checked the reviews. We saw the YouTube videos uh, about the courses and the reviews. So finally, she told me that 
let's take the one week free trial of programming part shala course because the reviews were very good so we took the free trial and we were just amazed by the well organized course the teaching style of the tutors and the vast number of topics that are covered in that course so without any further ado we took the course we purchased it and it had just been like 2 to 3 months i guess and i am very happy to share that we both got placed i got placed in bp and she got placed in merk merk india as an associate analyst okay that's that's nice yes yes and now coming back to the point like how the programming part shala course helped me in my journey uh, so before taking the course i already had a grip in computer science fundamentals and i was already familiar with the programming language like the basics uh, of c and c++ but the point where i was lacking is consistency and practice you know uh, when i took the course i was just amazed by the quality of questions not only in the assignments but also the questions that were taught in the videos and practicing those questions really helped me a lot during coding rounds that's great that's great Nisha. and you know like uh, while giving a previous answer you mentioned about the low level design thing and i believe that like, yes these days you know uh, whenever we sit for a company uh, you know which has a good package way you know generally uh, start to ask about its concept about the basics of low level design this is something which is becoming really important these days right yes yes they focus a lot upon the basics the uh, fundamentals of computer science yeah uh, so nisha like you were mm. uh, you just told about so many things and like you mentioned that from your class 11th you developed the keen interest and then you know you stopped your coding journey but then you resumed it with a kick start you know and then your uh, place over here at vp so like uh, what we see from here is that it feels like a such a smooth transition and such a you know strange for journey so i'd like to know that were there any downfalls were there any hardships over there or was it really this smooth can you tell us about that yes there were a lot of downfalls and uh, before i was not able to be consistent you know i was trying to grasp a lot of things together and before bp also i tried in few other companies as well but i was not able to make it to the technical interview or to the hr round and i remember that once the interviewer also told me that you are good at the advanced topics but you are not good at the fundamentals so this is where renaissance helped me but the thing was um, i think that the thing was that i was just practicing questions i was not exploring the pattern of questions that the particular company asked but after studying from renaissance i guess it was not required anymore at least for me because you won't believe me if i'll tell you that i found exactly the same questions from module 1 videos in the coding round of two different companies one of them is accenture the results are not yet out but yes i made it to the last round that's great nisha that's great and you know i really feel so nice when you tell that you got the same exact questions from there right and because it feels it even feels good to us when we hear things like that and we feel that right, yes we also get to uh, you know we also get this confidence we also get this enthusiasm that yes we are actually doing something very right for the students right So yeah, that's great, and you know, like okay, now I believe now it sounds more better because now we got to know about your downfalls as well. So now it's like it's looking like it's believable. So yeah, that's great. That's great. Now I'd like to know that you know, is there anything uh, which you feel like uh, you should you you know you want to tell to our viewers? Uh, you know, something which uh, you feel that you know everyone who is in this field or who is uh, you know preparing for coding around for interviews or you know who is you know even looking out for diverse domains like you yourself you know uh, have been uh, you know been into this solar cloud network and so on so is there something any tips or anything which from your journey you like to share to our viewers yes i would definitely like to share a few things the first is that you know explore the field of computer science when you will go and ask a first year college student of btech computer science uh, the career options that he or she will be aware of is sd and some other more but there are a lot of career options in this field not just sd not just cloud there are a lot so explore them 
and yeah in i would say that if you are applying for any company go through the job description very carefully even if you are applying for on campus drives go through the jd and mention see uh, some keywords in your cv and also while introducing yourself during the interview it will surely uh, create a great impression and do not exaggerate in both your cv as well as during the interview while introducing yourself uh, even if you know only a few things even if you know only the basics be honest yeah. and yeah finally i'll say that follow a well structured course uh, because what happens is when we do not follow a proper structure we try to learn random topics and we might ju jump directly to advanced topics without knowing the fundamentals so eventually we end up giving up so learn things in a proper order for me the course which helped was the programming pathshalas renaissance course it helped me a lot seriously so it could be some other course for you maybe some youtube videos or anything but i would seriously suggest you all to at least go through the programming pathshalas one week free trial i'm pretty sure you will find it helpful and you know one thing uh, which you mentioned uh, which i felt like really is something which even i would like to you know Uh, put stress on is that uh, you go through the job description and play it smartly. Like, do not exaggerate. Do not like only talk about the same during your whole interview process or in your whole resume. But actually, smartly put it up so that you know the interviewer or the person who is looking to your resume can have a reflection of multiple things along with the job description details as well. Required as well of the job, right? So yeah, that definitely that would be a good learning, and I believe it will help many students, Nisha. So yeah, Nisha, uh, you know, I would uh, now extend a very heartfelt thanks to you for joining us here. You know, when people like you come over here, and you know, during these times of recession, when the hiring is squeezed, when it's very difficult to find a job these days, so when students like you come up with uh, you know such stories and you share your views, you share your words with them, then even they get motivated and they start their journey. So you never know how many students will watch this and. they'll get inspired by this so yeah thanks a lot nisha thank you so much for being thank here thank you so much ma'am thank you so yeah i think that was all so that was our talk with nisha and yeah maybe you could also come here and record a success story with us so keep learning and also don't forget to take your 7 day free trial as nisha just mentioned okay bye